Today we're going to be talking about the rough endoplasmic reticulum, or the RER, and the smooth endoplasmic reticulum, or the SER. I guess they're both endoplasmic reticulums, but they both have different function and it's important to know this. So let's compare the RER and the SER. The RER is composed of an endoplasmic reticulum plus ribosomes. The SER is just an endoplasmic reticulum without ribosomes. So what you can remember this is that the, the rough one actually looks rough because it has these jagged ribosomes on it, and the SER doesn't have ribosomes, so it's smooth. Since the rough endoplasmic reticulum has ribosomes, we know they're going to be dealing with proteins. And the way that I think about this is that these aren't proteins, these aren't ribosomes, sorry, that are in the cytoplasm. These are ribosomes that are on the endoplasmic reticulum, and they're going to be used for functions that are kind of outside the cytoplasm, outside the cell. And once you remember that, you can remember that there's three different types of proteins it makes. It can make secretary proteins, okay, that's outside the cell. It can make lysosomal proteins. Remember, this is also kind of outside the cell. If you think about how your GI tract is kind of the, it's not really inside your body. It's kind of on the outside of your body. Your lysosome is also on the outside of the cell, even though it's inside a little vesicle. And then integral proteins, which are also on the cell membranes, so not really inside the cell. Um, and for the integral proteins, remember a lot of those integral proteins are actually glycoproteins. So you know the RER also has to be dealing with glycoproteins. And the important thing that you have to know about glycoproteins is that it makes them through N-linked oligosaccharide addition. Okay, so remember that. So it makes gly glycoproteins through N-linked oligosaccharide addition. So let's think about some examples. What's a cell that would be secreting a lot of proteins? How about secreting a lot of antibodies? That type of cell would be a plasma cell. So we know a plasma cell is going to be rich in RER. What's a cell that maybe secretes a lot of glycoproteins? Well, one of the example of a glycoprotein is mucin. Okay, So a mucus-secreting cell would be a cell that would be rich in RER. An example of a mucus-secreting cell would be an intestinal cell, for example. When you find the RER in the neurons, they're actually called nissel bodies, and because they stain blue with the nissel stain. And nissel bodies synthesize enzymes such as CHAT, or choline acetyltransferase, and peptide neurotransmitters. Again, peptide neurotransmitters are outside the cell. And choline acetyltransferase, you can actually think, it, it's an enzyme that ha it can't be near the nucleus, right? It has to be at the enzyme term. It has to be at the synapse. It has to be close to the synapse. So you know it has to be kind of transported there uh, through axoplasmic flow. So you can think that that enzyme also has to be made there. Before we move on, I just want to talk about free ribosomes for a second, okay? Sorry about that. So free ribosomes are ones that are not on the RER, as I said. And so these, since these aren't on the RER, so pardon the spelling, since these aren't on the RER, they're not going to be making things that are outside the, cell, the cytoplasm. They're in the cytoplasm. So these are unattached to any membrane, and they're the site of cytosolic proteins, okay, cytosolic proteins, as well as organellar proteins. So stuff that the cell needs. Okay, so the ones that are in the RER, the ones that are attached to the RER are going to make secretory proteins, stuff that's outside the cytoplasm, and free ribosomes are going to make stuff that's inside the cytoplasm, such so as cytosolic and organellar proteins. Okay, let's go back. So, now let's look at the SER. As I said, the SER does not have ribosomes. So, the stuff the SER is going to be doing has nothing to do, really, with proteins. Okay, so the first thing it's going to be doing is steroid synthesis, okay? So it's, it's steroid synthesis as well as phospholipid uh, synthesis, not written here, but steroid synthesis as well as uh, phospholipid synthesis is important to know. The other function that the SER has is detox, okay? And the third one that it has is calcium regulation. So let's look at some examples here. What's a, what are some organs that might have to do a lot with steroid synthesis, okay? We have the adrenal glands, right? If ACTH hits them, it makes steroids. And we also have the gonads, which will make testosterone as, as among, uh, um, among other hormones. So the adrenal and the gonads are two places of steroid synthesis, so we'd expect them to be rich in SER. What's a cell that has a lot to do with detox? This is pretty easy. It's a liver hepatocyte. So we know that the liver hepatocyte is going to have rich in SER. And as we know, as, as we know some of the CYP enzymes are microsomal. Microsomal means that they're in the SER. And just as a, a back to a GI pathology, what's an enzyme that's found in the SER that we usually uh, associate with uh, alcohol abuse or drug abuse? That's right, it's GGT. So GGT is a microsomal enzyme. So you will see that increased in um, if, uh, drug abuse or something that induces the CYP450 uh, system. And then finally, in calcium regulation, this might not be that intuitive, but what you have to remember is that there are some SERs in some cells that only do calcium regulation, and that would be the sarcoplasmic reticulum. 
So when we're talking about the muscle cells and calcium regulation, we're thinking about the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So as we have the adrenal and gonad cells making steroid synthesis, we have the liver doing detox, which also has the enzyme GGT as a marker of that, and also has a microsomal CYP, uh, CYP system in it, and then calcium regulation for the sarcoplasmic reticulum. So just as a quick review, the RER has ribosomes. It makes proteins that are kind of outside the cell, so secretary proteins, lysosomal proteins, integral proteins. An example of a cell that would uh, secrete secretary proteins or antibodies would be plasma cells. An example of a cell that would secrete glycoproteins or mucus-secreting cells. Okay, and the way that it makes these glycoproteins is through N-linked oligosaccharide addition. Remember, there's nissel bodies. The RER neurons cause nissel bodies, which create choline acetyltransferase and ACH and a peptide and other peptide neurotransmitters. Okay, and then we also have our free ribosomes, which do our uh, cytosolic and organellar proteins. Okay, here we have our SCR, which does not have ribosomes, so we know it's going to not have stuff not to do with protein, so steroid synthesis. So the two big places are the adrenal glands and the gonads. Okay, it also makes phospholipids, remember. Um, then we also have detox in the liver using the CYP, the microsomal system. Microsomal means in the SCR. GGT is an enzyme that we can use to measure that. And then finally, um, calcium regulation. And for example, we think of the muscle cell and the sarcoplasmic reticulum. And that's about it for this section.